Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I, Mark, a former scuba diving instructor and a professional diver, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any questions about scuba diving, about equipment or whatever it is, by all means, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use this Ask Mark hashtag, get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. But in the meantime, you do get a response typed out uh, either by myself or by the general community because they do like to answer questions which is awesome well done everyone um so yeah any questions pop it down in the comment section today i'm answering a question from brent about reels and whether it's worth actually bringing a spool or just six meters a line So Brent says, as a recreational, no decompression diver, is there any reason to have more than six meters of line on a DSMB reel? I know some divers that will only carry about six meters of line just wrapped around something or even the SMB itself and then just tie off onto said DSMB. For sending up a buoy at the very end of your dive on your safety stop, it works just fine in most cases. Um, line underwater does like to get tangled and tie itself in knots and tie itself around you. Um, but if you only have six meters of line, that's about all it's really good for. Um, and at that exact depth, if when you've been sorting out your DSMB, you haven't been paying so much attention to your, uh, your actual depth, if you then send up that DSMB and you're at 6.1 meters, because that's all it really takes, as soon as that shoots off, it's just gonna yank it out of your hand. And now you're either chasing after a piece of string um, in the water column, or yeah, it's just not really worth it. Um, there's obviously an argument for doing it at uh, like five meters and then you get one meter of slack. But remember that when you send a DSMB up, if there's any water movement um, and any wind wave movement on the surface, your, your line is very rarely straight up to the surface. A lot of the case, it's going to drag it, in which case that six meters is just going to pull you up shallower. Um, if you do keep more tension on the line, then it will help to kind of hold it relatively above you. But yeah, I, I'd like a little bit of um, uh, extra redundancy. But yeah, I, I've known dive guides and they just have just a bundle of line and I think it just had like a little lead ingot just down at the bottom just a something to hold on to um, but yeah it, it can be done and some divers do do it um, but that's kind of all it would be good for um, if you're drift diving it's quite nice to send a DSMB up as soon as possible so that anyone on the surface can see where you are and yeah if you're deeper than six meters that's the dive done, unless you want to do the entire dive at six meters. Uh, if the drift dive is deeper than six meters, you're not going to see a great deal. Uh, whereas if you have a spool, then yes, you do have more excess line, but it just allows you to go to deep depths whilst having an SMB on the surface. Uh, you can mark locations uh, in an emergency, I should add, because there was quite an interesting um, uh, article the, um, the other day and someone had marked, I think it was a lobster pot with a diving DSMB. Someone else came around, saw this DSMB and saw that the DSMB hadn't moved. Uh, they called uh, the lifeboat and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, it turns out they, they pulled on the DSMB and it was just attached to a crab pot. So you can mark locations, but in emergencies um, because yeah, DSMB usually means diver in the water. Uh, so stay clear if, um, if someone sees that it isn't been moving, then may call emergency services. If you're diving in overhead environments, uh, it can be quite useful to have a bit of excess um, line just so that you can put some kind of jump line or something to find your way back. If the visibility suddenly disappears, uh, you can attach it to your buddy uh, and keep in touch with them. Granted, six meters is quite a lot for um, uh, for a John line or a buddy line. Um, but no, if it's just blue water, uh, not particularly high current, um, and all you're really planning to do with it is send up a DSMB, 
yeah, it should be fine. Uh, I mean, this is quite a big, this is like a 30 meter uh, spool, but you can get much smaller ones with just like 15 meters. Um, yeah, that, that's perfectly fine. For me, it mainly comes down to entanglements uh, because yeah, line underwater is evil. Um, it, uh, it really dislikes or it really likes divers uh, and tangling up equipment. And when it's all like free floating and you've got six meters of it, uh, it's really easy to, uh, to tangle itself up. I mean, it's just done it there with my bolt snap. So um, yeah, when it's all neatly lined up on a spool, then yeah, it's much easier to control. And towards the end of the dive, when you're actually surfacing, with a spool you can wind it back on just as you're ascending whereas if you just have six meters of line i what are we going to do with all of this as you're ascending uh, you, you have to like control it somehow and control your buoyancy and then you've got to stow this somewhere uh, so unless you have something to actually wind it on um, then it just gets really messy uh, this is probably the best way i can think of but it does mean that you're down most of a hand uh, whilst you're ascending so it can be done it's not the best method though um, i'd i'd usually recommend just sticking with a, a short reel um, you can get like 15 meter spools pretty easily, some are even 10 meters, and then just cut a bit of excess off. But I'd leave some excess just so that you have plenty of, um, uh, plenty of redundancy, just in case you do need to um, either adjust the leader because the line eventually does wear, and yeah, you get a nice bit of uh, sort of redundancy. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather a spool, but yes, you can dive just with some line. Yeah, I have seen some divers just diving with a short-ish section of line just so they can send up that DSMB after a dive, uh, or at least towards the end of the dive on their safety stop. Um, however, it tends to be in really safe environments where, yeah, that's all they really need the line for. Um, but it's, it's hard it's hard for me to justify the argument that oh the, the spool is big and bulky because they're not particularly bulky and for me that entanglement issue is just far too much because a section of line is yeah just a mess in the water and trying to keep it all organized especially as you're ascending uh, is kind of tricky so um yeah i prefer just to bring a spool maybe not even this big this is a relatively large spool uh for like recreational diving a um a, a smaller thinner spool would be um uh, would be better for that um i just find it a lot neater and um that they're not that big or bulky. Uh, any other questions, by all means, pop it down in the uh, in the comment section underneath this video. Use the Ask Mark hashtag, this one here, uh, either at the beginning or the end or wherever it is, and, uh, and that will get it featured in an up and coming video. Uh, in the meantime, if you do see any questions unanswered uh, or even answered down in the, uh, in the comment section underneath this video, um, just do them a favor, let them know whatever you know, and um, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Otherwise, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com, check out our latest news articles, and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.